Hello everyone. In this video, we will be taking a look at single phase semi-converter with RL load. This is a circuit diagram of a single phase semi-converter with RL load. In order to understand the operation of this circuit, let's see what happens during positive half cycle. That is at instant say alpha when a firing pulse is applied, what happens to this operation of the circuit. So during positive half cycle, the supply voltage will be plus and minus. Plus is connected to the anode of T1 and minus is connected to the cathode of D1. As a result, T1 and D1 will be forward biased because you're firing a pulse at say instant alpha for T1 and the current starts flowing from the source to the load through T1 and let us say this is A and this is B. The current starts flowing through the load and it flows back to the source through D1 and returns in this path. So the output voltage is positive over here because whatever you're supplying is appearing at this point plus and whatever you're supplying that is minus is appearing at this point. So V out will be equal to Vs plus Vs. Point is to be observed here. The inductor is slowly charging uh, and the current through the inductor is increasing linearly. So the inductor is charged charging with a polarity plus and minus. The current starts flowing through the inductor and a magnetic field is developed across the inductor during this phase. Now what happens during negative half cycle? So negative half cycle, let us distribute this into two phases. What happens between pi to pi plus alpha? So let's consider the circuit again. So the supply voltage will be negative and positive in this case, isn't it? So this plus will reverse bias diode D1. As a result, it is acting as open circuit. And consequently, what is happening in the circuit is that the inductor does not allow sudden change in current. As a result, it will reverse its polarity. And this plus is appearing across diode D2 and minus is appearing across the cathode of T1 and through the D2, since D2 becomes forward bias through D2, it's ensuring that the T1 is still fired and the current flows through this path, that is freewheeling action takes place. So the current will be flowing through this path, through diode D2, through T1, and through the load again, in this particular fashion. So since freewheeling action is happening over here, V out, that is the output voltage is equal to zero in this case, because this is a short circuit, isn't it? As a result, V out will be equal to zero. So this is happening provided T2 is not triggered. If T2 is triggered, then the operation completely changes. So this is considering T2 is not triggered, that is between pi and pi plus alpha, and freewheeling action, that is the energy stored in the inductor is discharged through this path. Now what happens during negative half cycle that is at pi plus alpha? Again, let's consider the circuit at pi plus alpha, the supply voltage will still be negative and positive. So assuming that the inductor has discharged some amount of energy through the resistor, that is freewheeling action has taken place already. So during negative half cycle, that is minus is connected to, negative is connected to the anode of T2 and negative is connected to the cathode of D2. So T2 and D2 will conduct. As a result, current starts flowing through this path current starts flowing through this path and current starts flowing through the load in this particular fashion. And if you consider this as A and B, and then it returns through the source through diode D2 over here. So V out will still be equal to plus Vs because plus is directly appearing at this terminal and minus is directly appearing at this terminal through diode D2. As a result, V out is equal to Vs. Now, why is all these analysis important? These analysis are extremely important because if you remember all these points during operation, what happens, it's extremely easy and straightforward to draw the waveforms. So now let's take a look at the waveforms. This waveform is assumed for continuous mode. When I say continuous mode, it means a very large value of inductor is chosen. So let us consider a sinusoidal voltage source with some amount of cycles and a gate pulse is applied at every instant, say from alpha, that is at this instant, this alpha, this is pi, again this is pi plus alpha, this is 2 pi, again this is 2 pi plus alpha, and the cycle repeats. Now what happens to the output voltage? So the output voltage will 
initially be equal to zero. The reason why it will be equal to zero is because there is no. So now why is the output voltage equal to zero? Because T1 is not triggered. As a result, the output voltage is equal to zero. Now at say instant alpha, we saw that T1 and D1 was conducting, isn't it? As a result, we saw Vout is equal to Vs, as in Vout will just follow the positive supply voltage magnitude. So Vout was equal to Vs and that's why you're having the same shape as that of the supply with the positive direction, that is plus Vs. Again, at this instant, what was happening? Freewheeling, that is pi to pi plus alpha, we were having freewheeling action, isn't it? Freewheeling action as in the output voltage was zero. That is the second circuit that we saw. So output voltage was zero. That's why it is equal to zero. Again, during the next cycle, what happens? T2, D2 will be conducting. Because of T2, D2, we saw the output voltage Vout was equal to Vs. And this is because of T1, D2. Again, the cycle repeats. Next, again, it becomes equal to zero. Again, it starts conducting. Again, it becomes equal to zero. And the cycle repeats in this particular fashion. This is the output voltage waveform. Now, what happens to the output current? Let's consider at this point, say at alpha, the output current starts increasing because the inductor slowly starts charging. As a result, it is increasing. At instant, say, equal to pi, what happened? The current through the inductor started discharging through the resistor as a result it is decreasing and it is not going to zero because we are considering it as continuous conduction mode when we are saying it is continuous conduction mode the current never goes to zero the output current is always continuous again the current in the next cycle the current flows through the load and the inductor slowly starts charging in the next cycle because of t2d2 again the current starts decreasing during the freewheeling action again the cycle repeats and that's why over here, you start the waveform such that it will start slowly decreasing. As you understand from pi, or as you understand from alpha, you will you can extrapolate as why it starts like this in this particular fashion. So this is the output voltage and output current waveform. The magnitude of this, like why is it starting at this point? Why not from this point? Is because of the value of resistor you choose. Higher the value of resistor, I out is equal to uh, v out by r and again it depends on the inductor as well in this case so based on that the amplitude of i out can be changed now let's take a look at the analysis part where we are going to derive the expression for average output and rms output voltage expressions so as we saw previously the average output voltage for a semiconductor with r load the same expression holds good but we will again just write the expressions and derive it once 1 by pi alpha to pi vm sin omega t into d omega t so v out is equal to vm by pi into 1 plus cos alpha so this is the average output voltage expression what is the rms output voltage expression v out rms is equal to square root of 1 by pi alpha to pi vm square sin square omega t into d omega t substituting and solving we will be getting vm by root 2 pi into pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha by 2 to the whole root so this we have derived it multiple times in the past so i am not deriving it again so this is the average RMS value of output voltage expression for an RL load. I hope you were able to understand the semiconductor operation with an RL load. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.